Hey everyone, today we're gonna to do a quick unboxing and mic test of this Power to Wise lavalier mic that I picked up on Amazon. We'll try it out with my Canon M6 as well as with my Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone set. We'll plug it in, test out the sound, and see what we think. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken, and this is Northern Viking Every Day. We bring you videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into this Power to Wise lavalier mic. All right, so the Power to Wise professional grade omnidirectional lavalier mic, I did pick this up off of Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description so you can easily find it. it says it has a three and a half millimeter jack, a six and a half foot cord, as well as a six and a half foot extension cable, a rotating clip, and it works with laptops as well as desktop computers, tablets, and cameras. Now you might be saying, how does it work with cameras and computers? It's a different jack. One's a four pin and one's a three pin. Well, it does come with the adapter, so it works with both of them. It's got two extra wind muffs as well as it's plug and play. Let's go ahead and open this up. So in the box, let's see what's in here. Looks like you get a quick start guide and some tips as well as there's kind of a what to do if you're having troubles kind of tab on there. It's got a nice neoprene feeling case, that's for sure. That's gonna be protective, a zipper on top, power to wise, easy vlogging on that side. Words can change lives, record them perfectly, written on the back, Ah, All right, let's open this up and see what you get in the neoprene case here. So there's the mic. Okay, we'll start out with this. That looks to be the extension cable, the six and a half foot extension cable. It's got a nice Velcro tab on there to keep it organized for you. There is the microphone itself, and it looks like it's got a, tab, or a clip here. I think that just pops off so you can reverse it if you wanna put it on one side of the shirt or the other side. It's got the wind muff on there, and again, some Velcro on here so um, to keep it nice and organized. In here, we've got the converter from the four pin to the three pin, as well as two extra um, wind muffs. So let's hook this up to my camera and see what it sounds like. All right, so I've got the Power to Wise lavalier microphone all hardwired into my Canon M6. How does this sound? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna unplug it so you can hear the difference between the onboard microphone and this lavalier microphone. So I've got the Power to Wise microphone unplugged. So this is the onboard microphone on the Canon M6. How does that sound compared to the lavalier microphone? And it is all plugged back in. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, testing. Let's go ahead and plug the microphone into my wireless Go 2 and see how that sounds. So now I've got it connected to my Rode Wireless Go 2, which is connected wirelessly to my Canon M6. Can you notice the difference with it being wireless versus wired like it was a few seconds ago? I'm gonna go ahead and listen to this footage and then I'm gonna come right back to you and give you my final thoughts. So I've gone ahead and listened to the audio from this microphone and from what I've heard, it sounds really good. I've tried out other budget microphones in the past and I think this one might be the best of the bunch. So I'm not really trying to compare it to microphones that are two or three times the price. If you are looking for a budget microphone, this might be a great option for you. And you can judge for yourself based on the audio that you've heard in this video. So what are my final thoughts on this Power to Wise lavalier mic? Well, first off, I think it is great value. Again, it's much cheaper than a lot of other microphones that are out there. And it sounds really good for what you're paying. So I think that's a great option. The other cool thing is that it doesn't require a battery. Now I do have another lavalier microphone that you have to put a battery in, which kind of becomes Frustrating if you're out and about and your batteries die, you need to change that battery. I think this is a great option. I can plug it into my camera or into my computer or a tablet and not have to worry about a battery. The other cool thing is it has that extension cable. So if I wanna be a little bit further away from my camera, I can go up to 13 feet with that, which is a great option as well. And it's very versatile because I can use it with my camera and I can use it with my tablet because it does come with that adapter allowing me to use it for both of them. So I think if you are looking for a microphone for recording a lavalier microphone, this might be a great option for you to check out. So I hope this video was able to help you out in deciding on a lavalier microphone. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.